I think if juries knew that they had the power to judge the law, in addition to the facts of the case, then um, a lot of the outcomes might be different, and some people who are uh, nonviolent, peaceful people, haven't hurt anyone, maybe a simple possession of drugs or something like that, uh, would get off and not have their lives ruined. You saw me going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so we got it? Yes. Up here. Have a seat. State your name and address, and tell me your side of the story. Uh, Evan Pierce. I'm homeless in the Keene I was just in enjoying myself at Pumpkin Fest uh, when I was kidnapped by agents of the state. My property was stolen from me, and uh, I was put in a cage for almost two days. Um, this was in violation of my natural rights, my right to life, liberty, and property, and my rights as a sovereign individual. And it was also in violation of Article 2 of the New Hampshire Constitution which states that all men have certain natural, essential, and inherent rights, among which are the enjoying and defending life, liberty, and property, or, <clears throat> excuse me, not property, acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, and in a word, of seeking and obtaining happiness. Okay, well, let me ask you a simple question. It's against the law to be in possession of marijuana in the state of New Hampshire. Do you think you have the right to possess it? Yes, the law is in violation of both my natural rights as a sovereign individual and in violation of the Constitution of New Hampshire. It's in, in violation of Articles 2, uh, 4, 5, 6, and uh, Article 10, which is the right of revolution, uh, government being instituted for the common benefit, protection, and security of the whole community, and not for the private interest or emolument of any one man, family, or class of men, Therefore, whenever the ends of government are perverted and public liberty manifestly endangered and all other means of redress are ineffectual, the people may and of right ought to reform the old or establish a new government. The doctrine of non-resistance against arbitrary power and oppression is absurd, slavish, and destructive of the good and happiness of mankind. So is it your position that the laws of the state of New Hampshire don't, do not apply to you? It is my position that the laws of the state of New Hampshire are immoral and in violation of uh, both my natural rights and the Constitution. Uh, I'd like the court to point out the victim in the case. Certain, certain crimes that are, are victimless, uh, these laws were pertaining to marijuana, was passed for protection of society because somebody in their infinite wisdom just thought that marijuana, possession of marijuana was a crime. Are you it's aware? Not up, it's, not up, it's not up to me to argue whether possession of marijuana should or should not be a crime. My job is simply to determine whether or not you did in fact violate the laws of the state of New Hampshire in the sense that you may or may not have had uh, marijuana in your possession and that you may or may not have resisted arrest. I don't pass the laws. It's not up to me to decide whether a law is right or, or not right. Oh. Uh, who do you work for? He, 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 he works for the state of New Hampshire, and, and I believe we've been through this uh, routine before. Uh, is, there any, is there anything further you wish to say regarding these matters? Um, I don't think this is a fair trial because uh, both the judge and the prosecutor are on the same team. You have the right. If I, if I should find you guilty, you have the right to appeal, to take that issue to a higher court. Nothing further. Okay. Uh, based on the evidence before me, I do find that you had marijuana in your possession. Uh, I am satisfied that the uh, chain of custody indicates that the <coughs> substance that was removed from your body, in your possession, uh, is the same substance that was delivered to the state crime lab and analyzed as marijuana, and it is the same substance that has uh, found its way back be exhibit number one in this case. I also find that you did resist arrest. It may have been a peaceful resistance. I don't know whether you want to call it dropping to the ground, lying on the ground, or whatever, but uh, you did, uh, in a peaceful way, attempt to hinder your arrest. And I will end up finding you guilty on that complaint also. Uh, what is the state asking for? 
uh, regarding the marijuana standard fine, three hundred fifty dollars plus the twenty-four percent penalty assessment, and on resisting arrest, um, a five hundred dollar fine. All of that suspended for one year upon condition we behave. So you're you're asking for the uh, the five hundred dollar fine on the resisting to be suspended. One year. One for one year, and the uh, fine on the possession of marijuana to pay. Correct. Uh, do I get to say what I believe the sentence should be? You do. Um, not only should I not be further aggressed against or forced to pay any fines, I should be restituted pecuniarily for the time I spent in jail, and I want my property returned to me. When you say your property, you mean your uh, your state's exhibit? Yes. One. Not only will I deny that request, but I will grant a motion when it's filed to uh, destroy it. Right. I hereby announce my intention to appeal this decision and I request a stay of sentencing pending the appeal. I oppose the sentence uh, as far as uh, the payment of any fine that I should impose. That will be stayed until uh, you've completed your completed the appeal process. I want to make it uh, clear that I have no intention to pay any fines. I will still let you complete the appeal process if you make it your intention to not pay the fine. Uh, you end up going to the House of Correction, 